Gina Acosta works directly under you. Is that correct? Uh, Your Honor, Ms. Gina Acosta is one of the employees. No, 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 no. no. My under question the is, office of the she works of under you? Uh, under the office of the Chief of Staff, Your Honor. Yes, yeah, so you have management control supervision over her? Uh, in certain cases, Your Honor, because she acts as the supervising... Uh, no, Ms. Uh, Ms. Lopez, Attorney Lopez, um, you know, something that I've been noticing about the way you've been answering. Oh, yes. You've been very selective and, and yeah. evasive. You know, just categorically, just say, because I'm starting to believe na you're trying to paint an image of a Chief of Staff that's not actually the role of a Chief of Staff. I've worked with many Chief of Staff, and Chief of Staffs have full control, knowledge, and information about what happens internally and externally in every office. But parang dito sa lagay mo, Hindi yata ganon. So anyway, my question is, Gina Costa works under you or hindi? Uh, yes. Okay. She answers to you, yes or no? Uh, yes, Your Honor. So if she, if she answers to you, she's the um, STO, therefore, you would know about her activities, her responsibilities, and duties as a special disbursement officer. Uh, no, Your Honor. No. I was not the person who designated her, Your no, Honor. No, 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 that is not my, uh, that's not my question, Attorney Lopez. My question is, she works under you, you confirm. You manage her, yes. Now, my question is, Attorney Lopez, Gina Costa, you confirmed that she works under you. That is correct? She works with the Office of the Chief of Staff. Yes, and, and you are? The Chief of Staff. There, there you go, right? Now, because she works under you, you supervise her activities, correct? Certain activities, Your Honor. Why is it that somebody will work under you and you can only supervise certain activities? Because she works with the Office of the Chief of Staff, Your Honor, as admin officer, not as disbursing officer. So I only have a direct hand in her work as an admin officer, which is personal management. Kasi ang sinabi ni Attorney Sanchez, pagdating sa confidential funds, Attorney Lopez, natanong na kita. May information ka tungkol dito, meron o wala? Wala po. Wala. Eh bakit sinabi ni ng katabi mo na pagdating sa confidential intelligence fund ng Office of the Vice President, tatlong tao lang ang may knowledge at information dito. Ikaw, Gina Acosta, at si Vice President Sara Duterte. Yan sinabi ng katabi mo. Here. So, please explain to me, why would the person beside you say that and you would deny that? Uh, Your Honor, I cannot answer. Are you going to fire her too? I cannot answer for Director Sanchez, Your Honor. No, but only my question is to you, Attorney Lopez. She has that opinion. It's on record, under oath. Three people have knowledge and information on the confidential funds. You, Gina, the person that you that works under you, and the Vice President. So why is it now that when I'm asking you, wala, wala kang kinalaman? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, because that is the truth. I really have no personal knowledge as regards to the matter of confidential funds. Okay. Um, kung talagang wala kang kinalaman, Attorney Lopez, sa utilization ng confidential funds, why is it that on April 19, 2024, where your signature is affixed to a document that was forwarded to COA, ikaw ang sumasagot sa audit observation memorandum ng COA kung wala kang kinalaman sa confidential funds? Eh bakit ikaw ang sumasagot kung wala kang kinalaman? Your Honor, as I mentioned earlier, all external communications come from that office of the people's staff. But, but, Attorney Lopez, you're not making sense. You just mentioned that you have no knowledge and information about confidential funds, and yet, to the AOM of COA, ikaw ang sumagot. Your Honor, with all due respect, respectfully, even for other regular audits, ako po yung external, all external comms, I sign off on it. It's and also, report. Attorney Lopez, I'll bring you back to another document. August 21, 2024. Muli na naman po kayong sumulat kay Chairman ng COA. At dito, sa laman po ng sulat ninyo, ipinapakiusap ninyo na kung maaari, huwag i-share ang audit observation ng COA sa Kongreso. Noong August 13, 2024, nag-issue ang House Committee ng Appropriations ng Subpina, Duces Tecum, sa COA kaugnay ng COA audit report tungkol sa pondo ng OBP at DepEd. Matapos ang ilang budget hearing kung saan tinalakay ang paggastos ng OBP at <coughs> ng DepEd Secretary ng pondong ito na umabot ng 125 million pesos sa loob lamang ng labing, ng labing isang araw. Totoo po ba ito? Uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry, I did not catch the question. Respectfully, may you please repeat? I'm sorry. Attorney Lopez, nag-issue po kayo ng sulat sa COA ng August 21, 2024. Tama po ba mali? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Ano po ang dahilan kung bakit po kayo sumulat sa COA? I understand, uh, during the time, Your Honor, there was a subpoena issued to the Commission on Audit for the release of certain documents pertaining to the audit, ongoing audit of the, some transactions of the Office of so, the President. So, ang dahilan, ang dahilan kung bakit po kayo sumulat sa COA ay upang pigilan ang COA mag-release ng kanilang audit report and other related documents tungkol sa utilization ng confidential funds ng OBP at ng DepEd. We in were... your words, in your words, 
you said here, you are of the position that a subject subpoena should not be complied with. Is this correct? Uh, Your Honor, is this correct? Is this, it's a yes or no, Attorney Lopez. Is this correct? Were these the words you affixed on your letter? Your Honor. It's a yes or no, Attorney Lopez. Oh, lang po at hindi. Nandito po yung copy ng sulat. Kung gusto niyo po, bigyan po kayo ng copy ng sulat niyo. May I please? Have at saka that? nandito po yung signature niyo sa copy sa sulat. Uh, Your Honor, respectfully, may I request a copy of the said letter? So I can. Pomsa, can you please give this to the person who has lost her memory? Can you just confirm this letter? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Because anyway, Pomsa, can I have now. my copy back? Since she has confirmed the letter. Thank you. When you issued this letter, Attorney Lopez, did you act? Did you act on your own volition? Yes or no? Uh, no, Your Honor. Hindi. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. So, sino ang kasama ninyo nung ito po ay inyong uh, ipinarating sa Commission on Audit na hindi dapat sila sumunod sa subpina do sa stekom ng Kongreso? Uh, Your Honor, this was a uh, matter I consulted with Mr. Lemuel Ortuano. Kaya yung dalawa lang? Uh, yes, Your Honor, for the matter of the requesting COA. So, ang sinasabi mo, walang alam si Vice President tungkol dito? Uh, Your Honor, it was a letter that... Ma'am, ma it's, it's a yes or no. Let's not make life difficult. May uh, kinalaman ba ang Vice Presidente sa sulat na ito? Oo o hindi? Opo, yes. So, she knew about the letter? Correct? Yes, Your Honor. Before, before you signed off to it and, and sent it to COA, correct? Yes. So, kayo po ba, uh, Attorney Lopez? Kasi ang dating po sa amin nito ay una, hindi nun nire-respeto yung subpina uh, authority ng Kongreso. Pangalawa, parang sinusupil nyo yung karapatan ng mamamayan malaman kung paano ginagamit ang pondo ng mga ahensya na pinakakatiwalaan ng mamamayan. Na pagdating sa oversight function ng mababang kapulungan at ng, at ng Senado, kung ito malay kanilang gagamitin, ito ay hindi nyo kinikilala. Dahil sa sulat na ito, ipinapakiusap ninyo sa COA na huwag sumunod sa, sa subpina na in ng Kongreso para hindi ibigay ang COA report sa Kongreso. At sa aking pananaw, this is one way of of covering the truth. Mm -hmm. Pinagtatak na tinatapan ng katotohanan. Kasi kung wala naman kayong tinatago, okay. di ba? Kung wala naman kayong tinatago, ba't yung pakapakiusapan yung isang ahensya na hindi i-share ang mga dokumento patungkol sa isang investigasyon na isinasagawa ng, ng isang pang ahensya? Di ba? Ngayon, um, Attorney Lopez, dahil sa sulat na inalabas ninyo, at inamin nyo rin naman na ikaw, si Mr. Ortonio, tama po ba? At ang ating Vice Presidente ang may alam tungkol sa sulat na ito. Hindi po ba kayo naniniwala na karapatan ng taong bayan malaman ng kung paano nyo po ginastos ang pera na ipinagkatiwala sa inyo? Your, your Honor, may I answer? Please answer. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, respectfully, Your Honor, uh, that letter does not in any way uh, seek to undermine the power of Congress as regards matters uh, regarding to the power of the purse. It is not. It is simply a request from the, to the Commission of Audit given that there is still an ongoing audit investigation. That's why we, we requested that since hindi pa naman po natatapos yung audit, uh, hindi naman po din tama na ibibigay na muna yung ganong documents. With due respect also to the audit still being done at the office of the Vice President. So yun lang po yung position namin. We do not seek to uh, belittle nor undermine the power of Congress, Your Honor. That is the part yes, and the least of our intention. But Attorney Lopez, that is not a call for you to make. Right? Uh, Your Honor, it Precisely because you are the agency that is being investigated. That's totally uncalled for. You're asking another agency not to cooperate with Congress when an, on when an ongoing investigation is happening. That's suppression of the truth. At the very least, dapat hinayaan nyo na lang. Di ba? Kung wala naman kayong tinatago, pwede nyo naman po ipaliwanag yun dito pag naghiring na tayo. Kasi nandito po sa sulat ninyo, para pinipigilan nyo yung kawa at pinapakiusapan nyo na huwag nyo ibigay. Na sa palagay ko po ay hindi po tama. Hindi po tama sa maraming uh, aspeto ng pagtingin at pananaw. Kasi maaaring tama ang sinabi ninyo na hindi pa kompleto yung pagsusuri na ginagawa ng COA. But that's not your call to make. That's COA's call to make, which they have emphasized many times while they, they've been here. Um, but for this letter, uh, Attorney Lopez, mukha po kasing talagang ayaw yung malaman ng taong bayan kung paano nyo po ginastos yung 612 million pesos na confidential funds ng Office of the Vice President at pati po ng uh, DepEd. Okay. So ngayon, Attorney Lopez, um, are you still of the position that you have no knowledge about these confidential funds? 
Uh, yes, Your Honor. You have two documents here that you signed off. One, questioning the, not the man questioning, na pinapaliwanag mo yung AOM ng COA, signature mong nakafix doon. Number two, another letter addressed to COA na ipinapakiusan mo sa COA na wag mo nang ibigay ang audit observation sa Kongreso. That's your signature. Am I correct, Attorney Lopez? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. And, and you are still expecting that the committee will believe you na pag sinabi mo, hanggang ngayon, wala ka pa rin alam, maski dalawang beses ka nang sumulat sa COA tungkol sa confidential fund. Anyway, Mr. Chair, I would just like to end my point because I don't think uh, Attorney Lopez will cooperate with us anyway. I would just like to manifest those two letters are true. Those two letters cannot be denied. Her signature is on those two letters. Those two letters are both addressed to the Commission on Audit. One, intent of the letter, ipinapaliwanag yung audit observation. Pangalawang sulat, ipinapakiusap sa COA na huwag i-share at ibahagi ang audit observation sa Kongreso. So napakahirap pong paniwalaan ng isang taong nakapima sa dalawang sulat na yan ay walang kinalaman patungkol sa isyong kanyang ipinapakiusap sa Commission on Audit. No one in their right mind, Mr. Chair, will affix their signature in a document that they do not have any knowledge of. Abogado po kayo, Attorney Lopez. Kung ako nga, pipirma lang sa dokumento, inaaral ko muna kung anong nilalaman. Ito pa. Oa. Ito pa, pera ng taong bayan. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Deputy Speaker Jay Suarez. Welcome to Team Sam TV, your channel for the latest news updates. Here, we break down the biggest stories from around the globe covering everything from breaking news to politics. Whether you want to stay informed or just catch up on what's happening, we've got you covered. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news. Join the Team Sam TV family and let's explore the world together, one update at a time.